Hey everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to do a little blending, and what I have today was a gifted uh, fiber, and what it is, I'll show you a little bit more when I switch the camera around, uh, but what it is, is these uh, wool roving packets that were at Hobby Lobby at one point. I don't know if they changed uh, their colorways or what they did as far as these packs that they had at one time, but I do have two like this and one that is a solid, uh, solid different colors. So I figured what we would do is we would create some yarn from these. Now I will be adding some sparkle. And the colors that I chose today is this gold like iris. It's got a, a gold and a purple color. And this one, the, it's hard to see anyway. It's a white and like a purple. So it's kind of like, uh, what is it? Holographic 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 that's what it is it kind of resembles that in a way so i thought the two having the purple in it one being white and one being gold that it would be kind of cool to add those in i'm also going to be adding in some silk just a little bit to kind of soften it up a little bit i do know that that fiber is slightly on the rougher side. So I kind of want to blend it with a little bit of silk just to kind of soften it and make it a little bit maybe less rough. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing today. I just wanted to kind of let's play with some fiber that come from Hobby Lobby in these packs and see what we can come up with and thought it would be fun. Thought I would bring you along. Now there's no knitting. This is usually a day that I do a knitting tutorial, whether it's my own pattern or it's just a stitch tutorial. Usually today is the day that I do knitting. Unfortunately, my back has not been in great shape for the last couple of weeks. So I'm standing today. Today is not sitting, but enough of that. We're gonna go ahead and play around with this fiber. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and switch the camera around to the drum carter and card up some fiber. Okay, so as I said, I would show you the other packet. It's got reds and blues, green, yellow, peach, a little bit of this creamy white color. So let's see here. I'm going to... Let's start with a base color. Um, what color should we do? Let's do this pale yellow for a base. How about that? Just get a, a nice thin base across the big drum and see what happens. Now, I will probably uh, decrease the amount of sound that's coming in from the drum carter because it is rather noisy. We'll see how loud it is when I go to edit the video, but let's go ahead and get some of this wool roving on here. This is not as coarse as I have felt in the past from them, so hopefully it makes a really nice nice yarn when we get done with it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this yellow on. That got too thick. Painting with fiber. All right. 
get a little more. Now keep in mind that these are labeled for mainly for felting. But wool is wool. As long as it's not already felted together, we can work with it. All right. Still got a little bit of a thin spot, but that's all of that yellow. Now I think what I'm going to do is, let's see, pull these out and take a look. Um, let's go with some blue. How about some blue for a little bit of water? Okay, I think I'm going to start at the other end. Just a little bit of blue. This time, instead of layering them like I did the last time, this time I'm going to make them in more of a stripe. Okay, let's see what we, what we look like here. All right, so that's some blue. Uh, let's go with some green next. So all I'm doing is splitting it in half and using half of it first. All right, so we have some blue. Let's go with green. Just a little bit here in the middle, 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 middle. All right, we got the green. I think I want to put a little bit of this purpley red next. So again, I'm just splitting it in half and working from half of it. So let's get a little bit of purpley red in there. Kind of overlap the green just a hair. All right. Now I think I'm going to add this orange and yellow color. It's got a little bit of almost a pink in it. Light, very, very light peachy color. So I'm going to go ahead and split that in half. And we're going to add that up here.
All right. So now I'm going to pack it down just to kind of get everything nice and packed down so I can add more. Next, I'm going to put a little of the silk and a little bit of the sparkle on. And then I'm going to go back over this with those same colors. All right, now we're packed down. Let's go ahead and get some silk on here. As I said, I'm not going to put a whole lot on there, but I do want to put incorporate some. All right, we got some silk. Now let's add our sparkle. Let's see here. I think we'll do the white towards the bottom. The white and purple towards the bottom. Let's see, I don't need a lot. That's better. We'll start it right about half. Um, let's add a little bit more. All right, there's that one. And then the top section, I think I'll do the gold. Okay. It's so sparkly. Okay, here we go. Do a little bit more. Gotta have sparkle. All right, put that up. And now we're gonna go back over the top of it with the same colors. Just shifting them just a hair to one direction. So it has a lot of the blue. What I want to do is go towards that, that blue, but make that blue about three quarters of what it is now. So we're going to start with this orange. Go over the top of that purpley red color. Just a little bit. Now we're going to take the purpley red color and we're going to go from there over the green just a little bit. Now we're gonna take the green and we're gonna work towards the blue and go over the blue just a little bit. So we're just overlapping just a hair. All right, now we'll pick up with the blue and finish it off.
All right. What's you think? There is a shadow. I'm terribly sorry about the shadow. Let me see if I can fix that. Mm, that didn't really fix it totally. All right. So now we're going to take this off. I'm going to go ahead and pack it one more time just to kind of get everything blended together really good. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take it off in robing style. So instead of taking the whole thing off and creating a bat, I'm going to pull this off in roving style. Which means, basically, it's going to come off looking like this. Not that color, obviously. <laughs> so, I think I want to go all the way to half into the next color. Pull that up. I'm using a knitting needle because I've misplaced my actual pick that came with it. So I'm going to be using the Diz. Now, to create a Diz, you can use all kinds of different things. You can use a washer, a button. You can use all kinds of things. You just want to create this hole for the fiber to go through. Now I'm going to pull on it a little bit here, straighten stuff out, squish that down. All right. Now we're going to go in reverse, lift up, give it a tug. Now, a lot of times you'll see me switch over and I will be working right here at the drum. I'm doing the same movement of moving it forward, lifting up, and giving it a little pull and sliding this down. I'm just doing it more in one motion. All right, we're coming up to the end here, so we need to be working our way towards the blue. So all I'm doing here is just bringing in the next color and working it into the roving. Sometimes it goes smoothly and I can just work my way across. And sometimes I have to fiddle with it and actually get some of these fibers picked up as I'm going. All right. And I noticed in the last video, you were asking, several of you had mentioned about it being pokey stabby. It is, but they're so close together 
the only time it's really sharp is when you get to the edge here and you're only hitting one or two of them, then it's really bad. But on top, I can put a lot of force down on it and it's not going to hurt because it is so densely together. Now, as far as taking this off, I'm going these particular ones, I can show you in the brush actually. So if you look at this, the wire goes to the left and then curves to the right. Same thing with this. It's the same type of material with those same things. So as I'm putting it on, those little bit of a sharp point to it, it's bent to this direction. So it's pulling that fiber. Well, going the way in reverse, like I'm going, see I'm turning this wheel the opposite direction, I'm actually lifting it up off of the drum carter and going with those little uh, metal pieces there. So it's not really that big a deal as far as it being stabby and pokey. All right, so now I got to move and pick up a bunch more. When I'm lifting this up as a bat, these edge ones right here next to the blank space, that hurts. That's why I prefer to take it off in roving because <laughs> it doesn't hurt nearly as bad when I get to this area. So I'm gonna pick up the rest of that green and just a little bit of blue. And I just lost my connection. That's okay. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and pre-draft this, which just simply means I'm going to take it and slowly pull it out just a little bit and make this big, thick spot right here less. So every little bit, I'm gonna just pull it out and make it a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to spin it. So this is what you will see next is this big cupcake looking 
nest of roving that I have drafted out. And then after that, it'll get spun and plied and we will move on to working it up into something. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and draft it out and then we'll move on to the next part.